news in the game of football, St James's Park. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Newcastle United up against Crystal Palace. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. it well defensively well we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch but what should we expect from him today Stuart well the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas and he can certainly play in tight areas he wriggles out situations he can find that penetrative pass and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. Well, there it is, the first caution of this match. Well, he didn't need to make the challenge, did he? He's under pressure now. It's a long time to go in this game. Shelby, Saint Maxima, great defending here. Well, they survived the attack. Shelby, he's got to score. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Short corner it is. Pulls it back. Well, not quite the header he had in mind. And the goalkeeper gobbling that one up. And it's a quality pass. A chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner. Well, the crowd are willing them to score here. They've created so many chances. <laughs> Favouring the short one. And will the cross work out for them? Well, the clearance half-hearted. And the Magpies moving the ball forward with purpose. Saint Maxima, superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Short corner favoured. Cross could be useful. Just wanted to get it out of there. Well, the chance has been missed. No other way to describe it. Shelby and do they mean business on this occasion well the keeper has outdone himself wonderful save
Mitchell. Jeffrey Schrupp. On to Mateta. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, I just don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead now. Joel Linton. Well, Newcastle had so much of the ball in the last 15 minutes. You sense it's inevitable the goal will come. It'll be certainly no less than they deserve. They just need to be a bit more clinical in that final third. Oh, Stuart, now. they might be onto something. Brilliant, crisp and clean. And no worries for the goalkeeper. Kuyase. This is Klein. Jean-Philippe Mateta. And a strong tackle. And a throw-in it's going to be. Joe Linton. No way through. Jean-Philippe Mateta. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. But it was a superb counter-attack, not such high marks for the finish. Well, the build-up to the shot was great. Good defending, quick transition and excellent movement. It just needed a much better finish. Joel Linton. Target with it. They did have the ball, but not anymore. Jean-Philippe Mateta. A fine reading of the situation. Joel Linton. Newcastle in a potentially dangerous position. That's a nice-looking ball. Well, the only way to say it is he got it all horribly wrong, Stuart. Well, he has to make the keeper work harder than that. That's a tame finish. Mitchell. And they have possession again. Sam Axima. That was a move of great promise. They could easily have been in. Anderson, Jordan Ayew here, and Palace unable to retain possession. Well, totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Wood, oh good looking run, a goal on the back of sustained pressure, now they deservedly hold the advantage. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. But he's still got so much work to do. Just look at the strength he shows to hold off the defender and still get his shot away. That's a really good finish.
And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. I think most fans would. So the second half is underway. Newcastle United have the lead, but this is a long way from being settled. Shelby. Chris Wood. Opportunity it is. Oh, excellent diving stop. Let's to go short. It's not a bad ball. And he's done well to tip it over the bar. Danger averted for now, but it'll be another corner. Favouring the short one. And a fine cross. Determined defending. And Maxima. And the keeper has possession of it. Jean Philippe Mateta. Connor Gallagher. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Take it away. Conor Gallagher. Fruitful looking attack. But nothing comes of it. Matt Target. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Spot on with that tackle. And foul it is then. And opting for the lenient approach, the referee, rather than cautioning him. Substitution for Crystal Palace coming off the pitch. And time for the change now. Jeffrey Shaw coming onto the pitch. Number 10. He goes short. Determined block. Chance to cross. Deflected behind. Corner forthcoming. And taken short. Teammates in the middle. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. This looks interesting. Spectacular save. Top class goalkeeping. Can someone get on the end of this? Not really the ideal clearance. Well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. Palace now in potentially a dangerous position. Firing it in. Now Palace with a potential opportunity to equalise here.
And they're making a change. So the corner played into the box. The clearance wasn't decisive. Zaha. Long way out this. Well, it ended up being easier for the goalkeeper in the end. For the owner of the blue car registration, BG04 DOM, please return to your vehicle for the right side. Couldn't keep it. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Zaha, superb block. Favouring the short one. And a crucial intervention inside the box. Well, Palace have certainly bossed the game in the last 15 minutes and have created one or two good chances with it. If they can continue to play with this domination, it's only a matter of time before they draw level. Good movement, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. And the counter looks on here, options available. Really good interception. Now we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Matt Target almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes. Joe Willock. They do pass the ball with authority. Oh, but they've lost it now. Can they take advantage? And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Chris Wood. Just ten minutes remaining here. Emil Kraft. Almiron. And he's clear his lines. So a throw in here. Time for a change then. Matt Target. He could pick out a teammate. Takes the shot. And a powerful effort, but he couldn't quite keep the shot down. Kuyate. And Riedewald has it. Anderson. Well, nearing the end of the game, can Newcastle see this out? Well, it's going to be a nervy end to this game. But if they do hold on, I think they've deserved their win. They've played really well and they've played some good attacking football. And in general, they've controlled the game. Fabian Scher. Longstaff. Chris Wood on to Almiron 
Willock. Longstaff. Good looking sequence. Wood. Well, that's gone out, and it is going to be a goal kick. Cairo Riedewald. Now with Mateta. A fine reading of the situation. Chris Wood. On to Almiron. get forward but time is very much against them here clear foul play and as a result a free kick forthcoming well straight into the meat of the penalty area well cleared away and there goes the final whistle it ends in a victory for Newcastle United I wonder what you thought about their performance well Derek they didn't dominate the game by any means today but overall